All you guys logged on to an ICAT? Okay. I'm not sure if uh, the kids have the right link. We've got one that is logged in right now, but. Chief, do you want to drop the link into the chat? Uh... Yes, sir. Okay. Oh, here we go. Looks like uh, they're logged in. This is for the eighth graders. This is for the eighth graders. Yes, sir. The eighth, uh, the eighth graders need to fill out this survey, guys. It's on the it's on the stream. So I'd like like them to they can uh, they don't have to fill it out now. Uh, would like them uh, once they hear the presentation and uh, they are interested in ROTC, they can um, definitely fill it out. I'm still wondering if uh, kids are having problem getting into the room or don't have the right link. It looks like I mean, right now I've gotten only four. I know that. Uh, there's, If you guys are cold, you can turn off that air conditioner. It seems really cold in here. All right, uh, good morning. We'll go ahead and get started. Hopefully more students will be able to log on and get into the room. Um, but uh, welcome to the, uh, the Gaston High School NJROTC program. Uh, welcome uh, to the teachers of middle school and welcome to uh, uh, eighth graders, but also future ninth graders and future freshmen at Gaston High School. So this presentation is uh, to kind of give you some information and show you what ROTC is all about. Um, I know that all of you have registered, um, but uh, there's an opportunity if you're still interested in ROTC, uh, and hopefully after uh, we give this presentation and show you what it's all about, uh, if you're still interested, then we can get you into the class. Um, uh, let me introduce myself. I am uh, Commander Morell, the Senior ROTC Instructor here at Gasson High School, and also have Chief Escadero, uh, who is uh, other uh, instructor for the, the ROTC program. So, Chief, if you uh, want to share anything? Sí, uh, buenos días a todos. Este, soy el, uh, el Chief Jesús Escudero. Soy el otro maestro de, de aquí de, de ROTC, de la preparatoria de Ingatzen. Uh, los, dos, los dos instructores hablamos español. So, si alguno de ustedes tiene este, alguna pregunta, por favor, este, pónganlo en el chat. Y, este, y voy a poner el, el sign-up sheet y, este, para ver si están interesados en el programa de ROTC. Y el comandero ahorita les va a hablar un poquito sobre eso. All right, gracias, Chief. Okay, um, so we'll get started here. Um, Sir, I just put the sign-up sheet. Okay, great, thank you. All right, so uh, we'll start off with some highlights and benefits about ROTC. Uh, first, I want to let you know, if you join ROTC to come to our program, you're going to be a part of a top 10 program in the country. Okay, last year, we received the most outstanding unit in our area and so that made us one of uh, actually 10 or 11 programs in the country uh, that were named a top unit program. 
first thing uh, I want to let you guys know, so there's a lot of uh, uh, students, parents, and, and uh, faculty that think that ROTC is a military program as far as trying to get kids to join the military. There is no requirement to join the military if you uh, join Junior ROTC. It is a program that can help you if you are interested in the military. There is no requirement. Uh, it also counts as a PE credit. We'll talk about that a little bit more here in a second. Uh, it's a program that is full of fun. There's travel opportunities and uh, lots of opportunities for competition. Uh, we have a new career path that I'm going to talk, talk to you about. It's called national security. Also, again, if you are interested in the military and you do join the military after high school and you take ROTC for at least three years, you can make up to almost $300 more a month than somebody who didn't take ROTC in high school. ROTC is going to help you do better in school. It's going to help you learn leadership skills and help you to work because, uh, towards becoming uh, an assessment excuse me, a successful person in life. It become the best person that you can be in life. And if you're a college bound, uh, we have free a ACT and SAT preparation courses that will help you with your college entrance exams. And uh, we've got scholarships that are uh, basically just for NJROTC cadets only. So lots of opportunities here that we have in the program. Now you may ask yourself, so why should I join ROTC? Okay, some of the answers may be, I want to be in a program that will help me go to college. Um, I want to be able to travel. I want to see different places. I want to be able to travel outside of uh, Anthony, uh, Las Cruces, El Paso. I want to be in a class and a program that makes me feel like a part of the family. Okay, and that's what ROTC does. It is. A, it really is about being in a family. Um, I want to be. I want to learn how to be a leader in sports, in school, or in just life in general, in my life. I want, to be, uh, I want to be on the drill team, or I want to be on the rifle team. I do want to join the military. Again, it's not required, but that's something that I'm interested in. Or I just want to have fun. And, and hopefully everyone is basically uh, uh, look, looking at uh, wanting to be successful in life. All of these things ROTC will help you with. So what is ROTC? Well, it's an elective class. It's just an elective like art, um, band, sports. Okay. Again, it counts as a PE credit. The, the basic schedule that we have for ROTC class is on Mondays, generally we'll have a lesson where we talk about something that has to do with Navy history, uh, exercise, nutrition, first aid, um, geography. Tuesdays we'll have physical training, which basically it's like PE class. We'll do a lot of exercise and uh, you know really uh, uh, get ourselves in shape and, and work out. Uh, Wednesdays will be another classroom lesson day. Thursdays will be the uniform day. That's the day you'll wear the uniform. And Friday uh, is a sports day. This is where the classes divide up into teams, and we play basketball, soccer, kickball, flag foot, flag football. Volleyball, we'll have relays or any other uh, fun activities. So it's really our, our fun day when we get out there, we'll just compete and have a good time. So ROTC is more than a class, it is a program. We have a lot of after school activities uh, after, during the week, on the weekends, and during the summer. So we've got competition teams. Uh, we have a drill team, a rifle team, an academic competition team, a PT competition team. We have a team that builds rockets and launches them for competition. Uh, we also have a cybersecurity team. All these teams have opportunities of traveling because basically we compete in the state, we compete in our region, and we compete nationally. So field trips. Uh, so we do a lot of field trips. We'll, we'll uh, make a trip up to Mexico State to visit the campus there. We'll uh, visit uh, UTEP in El Paso. Or we'll go to Fort Bliss, we'll go to museums. Um, and this is during the school year. Usually in the summer, we'll have uh, just about every summer we have an orientation trip. It's a week long trip where we'll go to places like San Diego, Denver, Dallas. Um, the competition teams, like I said, travel a lot. Uh, and so we usually go to Albuquerque, go to Oklahoma City. And this year, we'll probably be going to San Antonio or this upcoming year. 
we do a lot of community and school service. So we support both the, the community and the school uh, in any way that we can. We participate in local parades, marching in parades, and we do color guards for like the, uh, the, the, the basketball games, the, bar, uh, the uh, ba uh, football games, and other school events. And uh, we also have a new career path. It's called national security. So again, um, every student to graduate has to have a career path. You have to have at least two years, two classes, and a career path uh, to graduate. So we have this new uh, career path that is now available to students. It's called national security. And so students that might be interested in working eventually for the FBI, say CIA, law enforcement, border patrol, military, government, would be interested in this career path. So the classes that are available uh, that lead towards this uh, career path in national security. So your first year in ROTC will give you credit or count towards your career path in national security. We've also got a new drill class where you'll learn uh, how to shoot air rifles, okay? Uh, you'll learn uh, marching, you'll learn um, how to use uh, swords uh, in a ceremony uh, uh, situation or event. Uh, third year is uh, another ROTC class, and then your fourth year is a non-ROTC class, like a, a speech class or communications or even a cyber class. So if you're uh, looking at doing another career path like cybersecurity, uh, you can actually do both or take or get credit for both classes. So now I'm going to talk. So there's last couple of uh, PowerPoint slides have been a lot of words. I've got most of my slides now from here on out are going to be pictures about, they're going to show you what we do in the program. It's going to be on competitions, trips, community service, we talk about the, uh, summer camps, the military bowl, and uh, awards. Okay, so we do a lot of drill competitions. We do anywhere from five to seven competitions a year, and most of them are out of town. Okay, a lot of them are up in Albuquerque or in uh, uh, Oklahoma City when we go to the regional championships. And like I said, this year we're moving to a new area, so we're going to be doing a lot of tri our competitions in San Antonio. But before every competition, we, uh, we get on the bus, and we don't take a school bus. We take a Greyhound bus. We like to ride in style and ride comfortably. So here's a picture. Of we, we do a commander selfie, get uh, everybody on the team on the bus, and uh, we'll take a picture right before we take off from uh, Gaston High School, and off we go. So here's some pictures of the drill team. On the left is the armed drill team doing a regulation. There's one, uh, the one on the top left is at the Sun Bowl, UTEP. Uh, the one on the bottom left is uh, the armed drill team doing a regulation in West Mesa High School in Albuquerque. The one on the right is the unarmed drill team and that's them doing a regulation in uh, uh, Oklahoma City during the regional championships. Here's two pictures of both teams doing uh, exhibitions. So on the left is the unarmed, and on uh, they're in uh, West Mesa High School there in Albuquerque again, and then the one on the right is at Cibola High School in Albuquerque with the armed drill team doing an exhibition. Here's some more pictures from competitions. Uh, the one in the middle is uh, Tug of war against uh, another school at the regional championships in Oklahoma City. And a couple of pictures of the PT teams uh, competing. The females doing some uh, flex hangs or pull ups, and uh, males doing uh, push ups. Here's uh, some pictures of the uh, rifle team in our marksmanship competition. These are the three different positions they shoot the air rifles, basically, pellet guns at targets uh, for points and competition. So after every competition, we're bringing back anywhere from one to two to seven or eight trophies each competition. So we have a very successful drill team uh, that is uh, one of the top drill teams in the state of New Mexico and uh, in the country. Before and after every competition, we like to eat. So, and like I said, we travel a lot. So we go out to uh, the local restaurants, uh, especially in Albuquerque, because we spend a lot of time up there and doing uh, different drill meets. Uh, we have a, a favorite place before, which is that picture on the left. That's a Frontier restaurant. It's right, uh, right across from uh, uh, University of New Mexico. 
and uh, that's the cadets there at the frontier. And then uh, after the competition, doesn't matter where we're at, we go find a Peter Piper's, and that's a tradition. After every competition, we stop out for Peter Piper's, have pizza, have some fun, and then we get back on the bus and head home to uh, Anthony. So we have trips during the summer. We call those orientation trips. Here's a picture of us in San Diego at Legoland. Okay. Uh, another one, again, same trip in San Diego when we were at the beach. Went to go visit some ships there in San Diego. Uh, the one on the, the, the middle uh, is the ship that we actually lived on the whole week, uh, but also got a tour there. Uh, the one on the left, bottom left, is the cadets getting a ride on one of the amphibious ships uh, there at uh, the uh, amphibious base in uh, Coronado, uh, which is in San Diego. And then them uh, posing on the right in front of uh, one of the amphibious beagles, vehicles. Excuse me. So a uh, picture on the left is when we were in Denver, uh, Colorado Springs. This is at the uh, Garden of the Gods. And then the picture on the right is the cadets unveiling the uh, flag for the national anthem at the El Paso Chihuahuas baseball game. Here we are at the, the UTEP football and basketball games. Uh, the picture on the left is at the Sun Bowl, and the one on the right, uh, bottom right uh, is uh, at the Sun Bowl as well. So we have a push-up squad that do push-ups with the UTEP push-up squad. Uh, every time the UTEP football team scores, and then uh, during the basketball game, we do uh, push-ups at halftime on the on the court there at the Don Haskins uh, Center. Here's another picture of San Diego, us in front of an F-18, a Marine aircraft on a Marine uh, base. A uh, picture on the left is uh, us at the U.S. Tra Olympic Training Center in San Diego, and then on the right at the George Bush uh, Presidential Library in Dallas, Texas. Some more pictures of Dallas. Uh, the picture on the left is when we were at Six Flags riding roller coasters, and then uh, on the right um, at, uh, at Southern Methodist University, SMU, they're also in Dallas area. A uh, picture on the left is a Marine demonstrating a robot that removes bombs for the cadets, um, doing a demonstration for the cadets there in San Diego. And then another picture on the right is where, uh, like I told you, we lived on a, sh a Navy ship in San Diego. The ship didn't go out to sea or go out in the ocean stayed there pier side but uh, the cadets got to sleep and eat on that ship every day and so here's where we're having breakfast on the ship right before we went out to have some fun in the san diego area here are some pictures of uh, camps so we have camps during the summer these are primarily for soon to be juniors and soon to be seniors that are going to be staff leadership so they go to the camps these are leadership camps at fort bliss and here's some pictures of the camp, uh, the leader, uh, I'm sorry, the cadets at the leadership camps, either in the chow hall having uh, lunch, um, posing in front of tanks, uh, or in uh, having classes, or basically uh, in the simulators. They get to use the actual same, the same actual simulators that the soldiers use in training to drive tanks and other vehicles. So the cadets get to use those and, and uh, just kind of check them out. We've also got uh, cadets that uh, go through the obstacle course there. So you see a lot of pictures of them going through uh, an obstacle course. There's also a wet course where they have to do different tasks. A lot of this is team building, working together, learning how to work together and work on a team. And so uh, more pictures of the summer camps. So we do a lot of community service. We really try to give back to the community as much as possible. The picture on the left is cadets that are involved with the food distribution. Um, here at Gaston, uh, where we give out food to uh, fam uh, families that are in need. During, uh, during the winter, uh, around Christmas time, we collect toys, uh, we collect as many toys as we can, and then we take them to the El Paso Children's Hospital. So the kids that are there during Christmas can have a Christmas, have something to open up, and, and that's another one of the community services that we do. Um, on the bottom right is a uh, a highway cleanup, we call it adopt a highway. Basically, we clean up, we're picking up trash on the highway in front of the high school. So that's the, the cadets there on a Saturday. We, we usually do those on a Saturday morning. Here is another Saturday morning uh, community cleanup. It's called an adopt a river. So this is right there on the Rio Grande. That bridge is not too far from where you guys uh, go to school. Go to school. Um, and so uh, cadets, uh, after they clean up uh, with all the trash that we uh, collected, and then uh, we always have pizza 
uh, and hang out and have a good time. It's, it's a good time we get out to do uh, cleanups. Uh, some of the cadets will bring uh, music and uh, you know we'll, we'll talk while we're picking up trash and have a good time. It's a lot of fun. Here's some pictures of our military ball. So towards the end of the year, we'll have a military ball. The picture on the top right, is, in the middle right, is uh, the, the court. So the seniors will have a king and queen. Juniors, sophomores, and freshmen will each have a prince and princess that uh, represent them. And so the court usually comes out, if you look at the top left picture, where there is a sore detail. So the, they, uh, the, the court will be presented with a, by the sword, uh, sword details that come through the arch. Uh, pictures on the bottom left and right are basically the cadets dancing. We always have a live DJ and one, usually one of the better DJs in the area with some great music. And then uh, we also have a, a cake that uh, on the top right, you see the oldest and the youngest cadets in the program, both holding the sword to make the first slice of the cake. That's a tradition that we have. Um, and uh, a lot of other traditions that are part of the military bowl. Most of the cadets that go to both the prom and the military ball will, will say that the, the military ball is a lot more fun. Here's some pictures of awards. Um, so at the end of the year, we give out awards to all the cadets that are participating in the program, doing great things. Also, um, cadets that are moving into leadership positions that have gone through the camps. Here's some pictures of them getting ready to get their, their new covers. Uh, these are special hats that they get to wear with the uniform that other cadets don't because they are in leadership positions. We have the parents there to present their new ranks and uh, their new covers. So we do a lot of color guard, uh, like I said, parades and events, uh, other events. These are some of the pictures that we have done or some of the events that we have done. The one on the right is the sword detail for the homecoming uh, game, and that's the presentation of the homecoming cut court at uh, halftime. Uh, we also have an event that we do on weekends where we have the classes get together. They compete against each other uh, in uh, like a kickball tournament, and the team that uh, or the class that wins the, uh, the tournament gets a trophy, and then we have a cookout, a barbecue, hot dogs and hamburgers and whatever else, and we just have a good time. Last thing I want to let you guys know is that we are in the news. Okay, so last year we won the most outstanding unit for Area 9. Uh, recently we've been in the, some news articles. Uh, Channel 4, CBS, and KFOX 14 came out and did interviews and a story with uh, on us for the uh, the evening news. And here's an, uh, basically a story that uh, CBS 4 did on their website. And then another newsletter about our program and the award that we won in a uh, Navy League uh, newsletter. So come join us. If, if uh, this interests you, um, ROTC has something for everyone. If you uh, want to join the military, it will help you with that. If you want to go to college, it will help you with that. If uh, you want to have fun, uh, ROTC is definitely going to give you an opportunity to have a lot of fun in class and outside of class with all the activities that we do. Uh, we are a family. We take care of each other. We are there for each other as a family. Again, somos familia. So if you're looking for a program that gives you that kind of feel, ROTC can do that. So Chief Escudero has put a link to the survey, the sign-up survey in the chat room. I think you also have access to it in, access to it in your ICAT uh, um, classroom. Along with this presentation, if you want to go back and look at the presentation, you can do that. Um, if you need to get a hold of me, it's my information is in the presentation, uh, my email or my phone number here at work. So feel free, if your parents have questions, they can email me or, or give me a call as well about the program. So looking at the chat, um, any questions from the chat room or just any questions in general, you can unmute your mic and uh, ask away. So again, I know that it looks like there's a lot that had come in uh, after we started, um, but again, this is a, a program. It's, uh, it's not required to join the military. It will help you if that's what you're interested in. Uh, if you are interested in college, this program will definitely help you uh, prepare for college. It'll help you in every area of your life, sports, school, home, relationships, 
This is a program that helps and teaches you life skills, how to be the best person and, and be a successful person in, in life. So, but uh, at the same time, having a lot of fun. So, uh, again, if you missed any of the presentation, we have a copy of it in the uh, in your classroom for ICAT. And uh, this meeting is also recorded, so you can go back and watch the video um, if you'd like. But uh, if you're interested, please uh, go ahead and fill out the uh, the sign up survey and uh, let us know. We'll make sure that we get you into the class. If you're worried about a class that you want to keep, but you also want uh, ROTC, there's an area in the uh, the survey that you can put that put down that class, and we'll work with the counselors to make sure that you get the classes that you want as well as ROTC. Any questions from the, the teachers that are online? Mr. Morrell, good morning. I was going to ask that question you just answered at the end. What if a student uh, decides now to join the ROTC classes and he didn't have it in his uh, yeah. schedule? We'll, we will get them, and that's why we want the sign-up survey, so that they, they can indicate to us that they want it. I know that, so everybody is done with registration. Uh, and one of the things I, I wanted to mention at the beginning was that uh, we didn't get a, an opportunity to really make a presentation and engage uh, the students like we have in the past. Usually we do this in person. We have the drill teams perform and just kind of give them a, an idea of what ROTC does. So we're a little late in here, but uh, there are still opportunities. So even up to the beginning of uh, the start of school next year, we can still get you into to get the students into ROTC. Uh, if that's what they want. So we can work with the counselors. Uh, we can work around your schedule to make sure that you get the classes that you want and uh, it doesn't affect anything else. So you can do sports. You can still play basketball, football, volleyball, track, whatever it is that you want to do, baseball, and still do ROTC. You can also be in band and still do ROTC. Uh, so there's nothing that limits you from being in this program. And so there's also, again, that career path, national security. So, um, you know, you have to have at least two classes, two years of, uh, of uh, uh, career path. And so you could do both ROTC and the career path because it lines up with the national security career path. But you don't necessarily have to do all four years of ROTC to, to get that national security career, uh, career path as well. So uh, any other questions about the program? Okay, so um, any questions in the chat, Chief? No, sir. Okay. All right, so that's all we have. If anybody does have questions, you can stay on, um, but we'll let you guys go. Have a great Thursday. Have a great weekend and great rest of the year, and we look forward to seeing all of you at Gatson High School.